Thank you for coming today, Mr. and Mrs. Snyder. Uh, we're the Andersons. Oh, right. The Snyders are my next appointment. Impotency issues. So, Mr. and Mrs. Anderson, I want you to know that this is a safe place. There's no judgment here. You can feel free to talk about anything you want, and it will not leave this room. So, what brings you to marriage counseling? We've been married for about six years, and uh, things were going really, really great. Uh, we were very happy, and then things kind of changed. Uh, we don't seem to be connecting anymore. He seems distant and disinterested. Impotency? No! Uh, no nothing, nothing like that. Of course not. Well, it, it was about a year ago. I, I went to Cardiff for a week on I business. I was feeling lonely, so I started binge-watching Doctor Who online. I had heard all these great things about it, so I figured this was a great opportunity to give it a try. I was definitely skeptical at first, but after I watched the episode The Doctor Dances, I was hooked. Is that the one with all the people in the gas mask? Yes, it is! I love that episode. It was an emotional week for me, with Ted being away and falling in love with the ninth doctor, only to lose him, and then getting to know the new doctor, and then losing him, and then finally... Don't care! <laughs> you see? Yes, I do. Gary, may I call you Gary? My name is Ted. Gary, it seems like the doctor has become a very important part of your wife's life. Perhaps this is an interest you can both share in. I have better things to do with my time than watch some show about some skinny limey who just runs around in a blue telephone booth. It's a police box, and it's called the TARDIS. Oh, but you have all day to play fantasy sports. <laughs> sports are real. All right, not some kid's show that the mentally deranged take too seriously. Uh, did you know that she stays out at night looking up at the sky, waiting for some skinny limey to take her on adventures? This is good. We're opening up and sharing our feelings. Well, maybe if you took me on adventures through time and space every now and then, instead of down the street for, to some <laughs> dilapidated pub watching the Knicks, I wouldn't have to wait for a Time Lord to come save me. Are you hearing this? She's nuts! And believing the Knicks will ever win a championship isn't pure lunacy? I mean, come on! After all the nerd conventions I went to when you were obsessed with Star Wars, or, or, or the thousands that I spent on our trip to New Zealand, so that, you could, because you couldn't be happy until you got to visit Hobbitville. It's Hobbiton. It is Hobbiton. I even agreed to a Klingon ceremony for our wedding. I let your parents come as Vulcans. They didn't have the decency to get the eyeshadow right. That is disrespectful. I'm drawing a line in the sand. No more psycho fandom. Okay, this is good. We're opening up and we're sharing. It's clear that we have a lot of pain to work through. Would it be fair to say that these issues are having an effect on things in the bedroom? <laughs> Why don't you ask Mr. Prude about that? Just because I won't wear a fez and a bow tie in bed does not make me a prude. And, and, and what's with that new thing about me calling you River Song while we do it? You won't even try to understand me. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, honey. It's all just very... Weird. And British. Well, if you would just take the time to get to know the doctor, you might understand me better. <sighs> well, Gary. Ted! Gary, are you willing to get to know this part of your wife? I guess I could watch a few episodes. And the original and... episode starting in 1963? And the terrible, the terrible movie from the, from the 1990s? Sure thing, honey. Oh, and then there's the spin-offs, Torchwood and the Sarah Jane Chronicles, not to mention the books and the comics. Oh, oh, and the fan fiction. No, and no, no, that's it. I Forget it. I'm done. You and the Doctor can have a great life. <laughs> okay. I think I can help you both. But it's going to take some radical ideas. But I think you'll both agree with me that your marriage is worth some radical ideas. I'm open to any ideas. For the children... I think we should be willing to try anything. I think you should try a surrogate. For the children? No. That's ridiculous. Chris, would you come in here a moment? Chris and I have been working together for what seems like years. He's the best companion a doctor could ask for. Chris? So, how about the 50th? Oh my god! Wasn't it great it was when all the doctors just came oh, in and you saw Capaldi's out? He's gonna oh go in for Gallifrey! It's gonna be amazing! It's, it's gonna be doctor. so good, I don't even know what's gonna happen! Chris, 
why don't you take Mrs. Anderson out to get a cup of coffee, and you guys can continue your conversation. What do you say, Mrs. Anderson? Please, call me Rose. Nice to meet you, Rose. Run for your life! <laughs> well, we still have some time left. Would you like to watch the Super Bowl? The Super Bowl isn't until February. I'm talking about the first Super Bowl. And I'm talking about watching it from the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs>